Hey, what's up guys? I'm here at Deep Cliff Golf Course. Uh, I'm playing by myself, so I'm probably just gonna narrate my round. I'm not holding one anyone back because there's nobody here. That being said, this is the 10th hole. I'm starting on the 10th, and it's a short, you know, pitch here, maybe about 120 yards or so. Let's So let's get into it. I'm gonna hit pitching wedge. Oh, I didn't, show you, I didn't show where I was ended up. That's where I ended up. All right, this is a dog leg left par four. I'm just trying to get my distances down with my iron, so I'm gonna take iron off the tee. Uh, there's no reason to use driver here anyway. So just gonna set myself up for a second shot here uh, with a good iron shot. All right, I got about 136 to the pin. Tough little tree in the way. Uh, yeah, let's hit the nine iron and see how I do. No, short. Jeez, that was chunky. All right, this shot just have a little pitch onto the green and we'll see how close I can get. All right, next up is another par four, 282 yards straight away. Cool looking hole. A little unfortunate there. I ended up in this trap, uh, have 80 yards out. Gonna hit my gap wedge, hope it don't blade it over the green. All right, coming up is a par three, playing about 190 yards with the blue pin. Love the views here. Let's go get it. I got my three hybrid. All right, now we have 142 yard par three. I think I'm just gonna take probably an eight iron. It's a little cold, it's a little uphill. So hopefully I get it there. All up in, go. All right, 281 yard par four coming up. I'm just gonna take iron off the tee. Like I said, I'm just, we're here to work on my irons and see how I got these Olimar one link clubs. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a fire iron off the tee, see how it goes. All right, I have 116 yards to the, the pin, but it like wraps around this corner. It's pretty crazy, so. I can't hit a shot, a shot shape to save my life. So we'll see how I do. Whoa! Lucky. Well, I think I went too far left. Whoa! Oh. All right, now we have a short, like 123 yard par. Three, I'm just gonna hit a pitching wedge here. Hope I get it there. Don't know the score, so I'd rather be short where I can see rather than long and I don't know what's over there. So let's go. 
All right, this is a 116 yard par three, but it's playing up with the white tee, so it's about 100 yards today, and it's a red flag, so gap wedge all the way. Oh, pulled it. Pulled it. All right, I hit my own car. I'm gonna give myself a penalty stroke. Uh, yeah, I was in a really bad light, so I just had to smash it out of there. But um, yeah, pretty much, um, yeah, that, I, that, that I'm gonna give myself a stroke there. All right, we have a 174 yard par three, playing about 166 yards, just playing a little front, so. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take out a six iron here. All right, we're heading out to the front nine now because it started on the back. This is, uh, let's see, this is a 273 yard par four. Pretty place, pretty skinny, so I'm gonna hit mini driver. All right, so I had no idea where that ball went, so I'm just dropping, so I don't wanna walk back to the tee. I'm gonna take a two stroke penalty. I'm about 150 yards out, I'm gonna take a seven iron. Okay, just kidding, I found my ball. I, you, Believe me or not, it's my custom tailor-made, you know, TP5, so it's it's right here. Uh, now I'm only, uh, let's see, now I'm only 103 yards, so gap wedge. Missed it to the right. Sit. Sit. Right, I think we got a temporary green situation over here, 88 yards off and to the right. Uh, let's take out the gap wedge. What a mess. All right, after playing that temp green, uh, we have another par three that's supposed to be 121 yards. It's playing 100 and like, yeah, about 125. So I'm gonna take out my pitching wedge. All right, it's been brutal out there on the putts today because I've been leaving everything short. That being said, we're hitting up a, another par three. It's about 160 yards uphill, so I'm gonna play it like 165, maybe 170, but I'm taking out a six iron.
I had another par three. It's 172 on the car, but it's scoping at 166. So I'm gonna hit the same club. Should be the same result, right? Again. All right, up next is a, I think, drivable par three. It's only 230 yards, but it's protected by a line of trees, and I'm gonna go for it, but I'll probably lose my ball. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Well, it's gonna be short of it, but it's a pretty good flight. All right, coming up next is a par three. It's 130 yards, but it's playing like 136. I'm gonna hit a nine iron. So far, really enjoying this course. Then. All right, coming up next, short par three. It's playing about 87 yards on the card. It's about 90. Playing the gap wedge, gonna take a little bit off. See what happens. Not good. <laughs> oh. All right, last hole here for me. It's the ninth hole. It's a par four, only 260 yards. So I'm waiting for the green to clear. Got my driver out. Probably not gonna hit the green, but better safe than sorry. And there's no one behind me waiting. So I'm gonna go for it. All right, as you can see, it didn't pull my best, but hey, you know what? I think this course is really well suited if you want to lurk, work on that game, in, you know, that's below the driver. Heck, you know, like I, I shot like 13 over or something. So that being said, the shorter course didn't improve my scoring at all. Um, that being said, I think this course is great for those beginners who want to, you know, get to that 72 par course, but are kind of intimidated. This is a good stepping stone from like an executive course. Uh, the greens were a little long and running a little slow and the tee boxes were in, in kind of rough shape. But I understand because all the moisture that came in and, you know, makes it hard for this type of course to get sun because there's so many trees. The views were awesome. I had a great time. It's an easy walk. And hey, yeah, if I, like I said, if you want to work on that that game, that long iron game, that medium iron game and around the greens, this is the place to do it. So hope you guys enjoy that one. Keep chasing. See you in the next one.